this is how to use Opa part 2 so today I guess we'll start with by clicking on view server here so so when you first click on it it will this is probably what you'll see you can choose either files and folders or screen so today in this video I'm going to show you all the things in the screen section so click on screen so when you first log in this is what you'll see today in this video I'm going to show you what these buttons do up here and also what this little button does and finally I'll tell you a little bit about these apps I mean I'm sure you know what they are but I'll tell you a little bit about them on how you can use them on old bubble so we'll start with this button down here this button right here so I'll go ahead and click on it when you click on it it really doesn't do anything I think it's just something that they're using to configure the server but it's really nothing you have to worry about don't mess with any of this just leave that alone I clicked on it anyways just in case you're wondering what it does alright now let's get to these buttons up here you'll need to know what some of these buttons are to when you're trying to start your live stream like when you're trying to copy and paste stuff from your computer into the server and also from the server to your computer so I'm gonna show you how you can do that and we can do that with some of these buttons I'm gonna show you what each of these buttons do so let's start with the one uh, on the left side so this one obviously lets you enter full screen so so that it only shows the server and let me show you that I clicked on it and this is really all it is and by the way the menu that you saw at the top it moved to the left so if you want to access it like this it's on the left uh, side over here and if you want more options click on the settings button over here and it will show you all of them but yeah it's kind of nice like this so let's go ahead and exit out of the full screen mode so now we can see everything the next button is this one if you hover over these buttons it will tell you what they do now I just hovered over this one and it says copy text by remote so that's really uh, what it does alright so I just went on this website here and uh, just so I can just like type some stuff and copy and paste so we can work with those so let's say for example for example this is an example just to test things out now you can't really just click on copy what that does is it just copies it it's your interacting with the server uh, within the server that has nothing to do with your computer so when you copy like that it doesn't copy it to your computer it only copies it copies it right on the computer right on the server so for example if I copy and paste up here yeah that's not what I just copied that's something that I copied earlier uh, on my computer this is not what I just copied from the server so to copy this text into our computer we would use this button up here so, and to do that it would just highlight the text that you want to copy and click on this button right here and there you go so then you just click on copy and let me try pasting it up here on my computer paste as you can see that's just that's what I just copied so you'll probably use this uh, few, this button a lot when you're trying to set up your live stream when you're trying to copy the stream key into OBS so that's what it does that copies text from the server into your computer the next one is the paste button which is the reverse of what we just did it pastes text from your computer into the server so for example let me just copy this let us paste this into the server now I couldn't just copy and click on and command V that would only paste the text that's only on the server so that's where this button comes in use so you, you can click on it you can paste the text from your computer on this right here and click on paste and it pastes it right here this is what I just pasted let us paste into the server the next button is control escape um, I guess it's supposed to like bring up the menu which you can do uh, by clicking on this button down here but for some reason it doesn't seem to work or does it have a different use yeah I, I mean I guess this this one is not really useful I mean you can just ignore it I guess but I think it's supposed to bring up the menu like this alright the next button is Control alt del so when I click on it 
this menu comes up. Now, I don't think this is something that you need to mess with. So there are options, lock, switch users, sign out, change, password, task manager. And also don't shut down the server because then you'll probably have to contact the administrators there which will probably take a day or so which then you'll have to wait and all that. And if you're going to do it, make sure you contact them first and ask them if it's okay. Alright, the next button is for sending keystrokes. So let me click on it. If you want to send keystrokes into the server into the server, you would use this. For example, if you wanted to send control control V, you can actually there here are all the options. If they're just like numbers or just um, letters, you can just type it out, like maybe control V or control C. Now if I wanted to do control alt B, then you would need to put a choke mark next to alt. If you wanted to do control alt shift B, then you would check all of those. Or if you just wanted to do shift B, then you would uncheck the other ones, check and check shift and B. So that's how this one works. I've never really had a situation where I needed to send a keystroke but if you ever want to do that that's how you would do it. Next up is disable mouse slash keyboard. Now this one's obvious it basically disables the mouse and the keyboard on the server so if I click on it now I can't click on anything on the server. I'm trying yeah like you can't click on anything you can't scroll, you can't press on any keys or anything like that. That's what it does. Now if you want, now if you want to enable, you just click on that same button again. And now as you can see we can type, we can click and scroll and stuff. Now the next button is enable audio. It looks like it's disabled by the admin, so it's not something we really need. It's disabled by them for a good reason, I guess. So so this one is just disabled, we don't really need that one. Next one is display one, and there's only one display. I don't really know what that one does, it just, there's only one display, it really doesn't matter. And next one is auto quality, I really don't think this matters a lot, just, just leave it as it is probably, auto quality or medium. It's not something where you need to mess with. I mean, it's probably it's fine if you do. I, I think I don't think this one matters, so you can just leave that alone. And then this one, this one changes. Let me just show you. So 25%. That is too small. I don't even know what I'm clicking on. So that's probably not something that I want to do. Maybe 50%. That's still too small. 75%. That is. Not too bad, but it's still too small. 100%. Now that is overflowing. I, you can't even scroll. Uh, mo like half of the screen is gone. And obviously, 300% uh, is going to make it, all, make it all gone. So, fit to screen is probably the best one. It just fits it right into your screen. Uh, so, that one's probably the best one. So, that is why all these buttons are up here. And the last one, this one logs you out of this this website. I'll click on that at the at the end of the video because I got I need to show you some more stuff. Alright, so that's all about the buttons. Now let me show you a little bit about these apps. Okay, now when you're getting started on your stream, if you're trying to download like pictures or music or things like that, you can open up Google Chrome, um, search for I don't know like whatever you want, free songs. Um, and find the songs that you want to use and maybe if you want a pictures or a gif or something in the background or something like that uh, then you can download it from from the internet directly into the server just for example in this video I'm gonna download an app which is um, Streamlabs which is like a better and newer modern version of uh, OBS Studio. So you just go to the website, click on download, and it will download down here. It's just like a normal Windows computer. Once it's downloaded, you can click on it, open it up, go through the installation process, and the files you download will be 
right here is your file explorer so you click on it and the files that you download will be in the downloads folder if they're not there then uh, try looking in the other folders like I said in the beginning of this video you will not see VLC media player when you first load in this is something that I downloaded later now if you're wondering what this does it's for playing like playlists of songs or videos or just if you want to play a playlist in your live stream then you put you this is something that we use so that's it for this video and I'll see you again in part 3 when I show you how to upload files from your computer into the server and from the, and also if you want to from the server into your computer